In 2011, billionaire venture capitalist Vinod Kosler, then 56, told an audience in Bangalore that people under 35 are the people who make change happen. People over 45 basically die in terms of new ideas. Kosler defied his own stereotype when, six years later, he became a seed investor in MetaWave, a radar company founded by then 54-year-old Maharakawa. The longtime entrepreneur and MIT-trained physicist is using advanced aerial imaging and technology to help self-driving cars operate smoothly through every weather condition. Experience is everything, she says of how her age has helped her start and grow her company. I had to build the brain behind the radar, because all the previous radars were not as effective and didn't have enough power. That's the kind of bold thinking that put Akawa on our 50 over 50, vision list. Produced in partnership with Mika Brezinski's Know Your Value initiative, this list highlights women over the age of 50 who are bringing breakthrough technologies and creative thinking to science, art, technology and healthcare. It's the second of three subject-focused lists that expand on our inaugural 50 over 50 list launched in June, a project meant to draw attention to women achieving their greatest accomplishments at ages when some parts of society are all too quick to write them off. Last month, we launched the 50 over 50, impact to spotlight women over 50 who are changing their communities through social entrepreneurship, advocacy, and education. To establish the final list of 50 visionaries, we were guided by the scores and insight provided to us from our three judges, Grameen CEO Andrea Young, fashion icon Diane von Fersenberg, and Janice Bryant Howroyd, founder of Act One and one of America's richest self-made women. Forbes editors helped refine the list, weighing a multiplicity of factors, from a nominee's unique scientific or artistic vision to the impact they're having in fields like health, robotics, music, dance, and much more. The resulting list includes three MacArthur Foundation Fellowship recipients, roboticist Daniela Roos, architect Jean Gang and palliative care expert Dr. Diane Meyer each have a coveted, genius, grant to their name, a prize whose female awardees, incidentally, have a mean age over 45. It also includes women who are singularly focused on one discipline grounded in either art or science. For Lillian Cologne, 66, that discipline is dance. In 1987, she became the first Latina Radio City Rocket, but she didn't stop dancing once she retired from the New York City Dance Company in 2002. Instead, Cologne kept taking classes, and in 2019, walked into an audition for the film adaptation of Lin-Manuel Miranda's In the Heights musical. Cologne was not just the only dancer over 50 who performed in the movie, but she was the only dancer over 50 who even auditioned. It was intimidating, she recalls. I looked around to see if there was somebody my age, and there was nobody.